welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, <laughs> and I've got a dog wanting to join me. Oh, a dog wanting to join me today. All right, so for today's video, as the, um, <laughs> there she is, as the holiday season is approaching, I thought, you know, a lot of uh, YouTubers and bloggers have done quite a bit of um, gift guides on things that a seamstress might want or things that you could buy a seamstress in your life, but I thought it might be kind of fun to do a top 10 list of 10 patterns that are not too complicated that you can easily make for the loved ones in your life, because I know a lot of us like to sew for our loved ones, and, um, you know, these don't, these require very minimal fitting, some of them, some of them none at all, um, but things that would be easy to keep a secret for that loved one, um, and then again, sew up fairly quickly so you're not killing yourself, you know, on Christmas Eve trying to finish up projects. So you can actually enjoy the season, because I know we're all guilty of over committing ourselves. Um, sorry. It's really drizzly and y yucky outside, and um, I have a kid sick home, homesick. He, I had to go pick him up, and so my hair totally fell. <laughs> okay, but anyway, let's get started. I've got my laptop here on my lap um, so that I can talk these through with you. Okay, pattern number one. Now, I have not made this, but this is the Clam Up Zippered Pouches um, from By Annie. And I have seen quite a few people that have made these up, and they're just adorable. So I think they come in, gosh, there's quite a few different sizes. I can't tell, five. Five different sizes of these cute little pouch bags. And I think I mean, these little zippered pouch bags just go together so quickly. You can use really fun um, quilting cottons, probably a lot of like even fat quarters that could all coordinate. You know, you could really dig into all of those really cute quilting cottons that all kind of go together um, to make a whole set for someone, or you could just make a whole bunch of one size for teacher gifts, um, for just small friend gifts, or anything. You could put little hand lotions, um, lip balm, all that kind of stuff into them as part of the gift. I just think, I mean, you just can't go wrong with a cute little zippered pouch. And I used to do that for my kids' teachers as a teacher gift. Sorry, if you can hear in the background, we have, <laughs> we are trying out Disney Plus for the next week. And him being homesick, we have Marvel going on back to back. So he's in the other part of the basement, but our, yeah, our sound system, I feel like I can feel the vibration of the movie. So I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. <laughs> the sickness season is upon us and I'm not really looking forward to it. All right, so that is the first. We'll start with bags. So that is the first bag um, that I think is is would be very cute. Again, I haven't made it, but I think it would be a very, I've seen a lot of people that have and they have a lot of um, good things. All right, next up from Goheen Designs, and actually this is my friend Maddie. She lives in the area and I, this is the Huxley bag and I have played around with this bag and seen all of her versions of this bag and it is just amazing. It's convertible so it can, you know, hang on a bicycle, it can be worn as a backpack. Um, she carries hers around everywhere. She has hers, um, I think would be fantastic in a leather or a waxed canvas and um, she has uh, kits on her site, which makes it really easy. You don't have to source all the different odds and ends. Um, this is a little more involved as far as a make, but I think if you sat down over a weekend, you could probably get it put together, especially if you had the hardware kit that she does sell, um, that you can get all the parts, the bits and pieces from her, so you're not having to source all the different um, bag pieces. And I love that for bag making because I don't have a stash of you know, all the different rivets and uh, grommets and all that kind of thing. So I love it when they have a, a nice kit that goes with it because it makes making it very easy. Uh, so I would highly recommend, um, again, I have not made it, but I have played around with hers and it's amazing. And I am going to be making that this year because I really want one. <laughs> um, and it's just, I mean, a backpack, it just hands-free, a purse, they're so very in right now. So that would be a fantastic gift. Um, you could even thrift your leather if you wanted to. Um, that would definitely be a really cool gift. All right, next for bags is Clume House. Again, if I have any, none of these have been affiliate links so far. If any of them and some of them here at the end are affiliate, I will let you know and it will be noted down in the link below, which just means if you click on that link and buy that pattern, um, I get a commission on it. So just wanted to be upfront about that. But the next pattern is Clume House, the Fremont Tote. And I'll pop a picture of the pattern up here. I made this for Sew My Style last year and I love my bag. It went together in an afternoon for me. I bought their, um, again, they've got uh, kits, they have hardware kits and they have a complete bag kit bag kits that come with the waxed canvas and the fabric if you wanted to make it um, 
if you wanted to buy the fabric and everything from them, or they have just hardware kits where you can get the leather strapping and all the hardware bits and pieces um, just from them, which is what I purchased because I used some leather that I had in my stash to make my bag. And again, it went together in an afternoon. I was shocked with how quick it went together. And it's very, very wearable, very usable. I mean, it's just, I love it. <laughs> I was just over the moon when I made it. Um, and again, yeah, so So My Style last year, and there's a video, if you go to my playlist, you can go down to the So My Style 2018, and it's in one of those videos where I'm talking all about it. But it's a fantastic pattern, it goes together quickly, and what a fantastic gift to give someone. All right, now let's get into, let's do PJs next. So I think PJs and loungewear are very easy because fitting is very minimal. You need a little bit of an idea, but again, most of these come in small, medium, large, and you can, you can kind of figure all that out. So to start off with, I want to show, we talked about this in a recent video of mine, but Simplicity 9020, I love this loungewear set. This was, um, I did my top 10 um, new release pattern picks, and this was one of them, and everyone went over the top with this with me as well. Uh, I think this would be fantastic, and like an organic, well, and a cashmere knit actually would be fantastic. I found some cashmere knit online. It is very, very expensive, <laughs> but a nice organic French terry would be also equally as amazing. Um, you can find that at quite a few different fabric, online fabric shops around right now. Um, it, it's a, I just think this would be a great easy pattern to make someone that would get a lot of wear in the winter. And the pattern comes with a scrunchie and an eye mask if you were interested in making a complete set for your loved one. All right, next is, what's that one? Talked about that one. Um, in nightwear type things, although this doesn't have to be nightwear, but Helen Closet's The Suki Robe. I have made this and actually I use it as a robe, but this makes a great like cardigan duster as well. Um, and it goes together quickly and you can use some really amazing fabric because it's not a lot of seams uh, to showcase some really beautiful stuff. Uh, light drapey fabrics, if you have anything like amazing silk. Actually, I keep talking about my silk from Brightex Fabrics. It's still sitting in the bag over here because I don't know what to do with it yet. I haven't made a decision. I have about a million different thing ideas that I could make with it. Um, but a robe like this would actually be phenomenal. Um, you know, as the weather starts to warm up, it makes a great topper. Or if you just want to have a really luxe robe to give someone, yes. And again, I have made this and I wear it. It's my summer robe because I have it in a um, uh, cotton gauze that I dyed myself. Wear it all the time. <laughs> it's a really, really good pattern. So the Suki robe, again, minimal fitting. You just would need a rough idea of someone's size. That would be very easy to make for someone. All right, next up, this is kind of fun because you could make it for a lot of your family members. And this kind of falls in the PJ slash loungewear category, but it's the True Bias Hudson Pants. And I actually just made a men's pair for my son. She's got three different patterns. She's got the women's pattern, a men's pattern, and a kid's pattern, all that kind of go together. So it would be really fun for family pajamas, number one, um, if you're going to do the family jammy challenge um, or sewing family jammies that Soul Altered Style is doing, which is holiday jammies for um, your loved ones, whatever that definition of family is for you. Uh, but this is a fantastic pattern. It goes together really quick. They're very chic. Um, I actually wear mine out of the house, but I actually just cut a pair out of um, Joanne's doodle fabric for my son. So they have Christmas sloths all over them. <laughs> So they can also be like, I mean, who won't wear those out of the house? Those will just strictly be PJ pants, but you can go so many different directions. And again, you don't have to have someone's exact size to know, you know, you can just have a general um, size to be able to make them a pair of jogger pants. Uh, but these could also go a little nicer and you could wear them outside of the house. In fact, I've seen some people that have made the Hudson pants in a woven fabric um, with the knit at the ankle and at the waist. So that's an option too. I'm sure there's a tutorial on here on how to do that. Um, I've never made it in a woven. I've always used a knit, but again, your nice organic French terries, you can just really go kind of luxe or a nice ponty um, to be loungewear slash queer out of the house or PJ pants. All right, next up, make sure I'm not skipping over anything. Love Notions. This is an affiliate link and this is the Namaste pajamas. Now this pattern comes with a nightgown, shirt, pants, and shorts. Uh, and you could, I mean, technically you could do the short sleeve shirt or you could make the shirt 
with the long sleeves as well. So there's a million different combinations. I've just finished making this pattern for um, all the women in my uh, my side of the family. So it's my mom, my sister, my niece, my daughter, and myself, five nightgowns. And I'll share those with you guys after um, the ho after Thanksgiving because I'm gonna be seeing them all and I'm gonna get pictures and stuff of all of us in our matching PJs. But uh, it is a fantastic pattern. It goes together easily. It's more than just your typical nightgown. I've made nightgowns. I haven't made the pants or the shirt yet, but it has a women's, pa she has a women's pattern and a matching girls pattern. So again, you can kind of go the gamut of having matching PJs for all the women in your life. Um, and you can even mix it up and do some shorts and t-shirts or long sleeve shirts and pants or however you wanna um, kind of mix and match that. But it's a really easy pattern with a lot of pizzazz. And again, I'll be showing that to you um, here before too long but I'm actually making that same thing for my daughter's sloth PJs as well because um, she likes it so well so anyway a fantastic pajama pattern and again small medium large you just kind of need a general um, knowledge of kind of where they might fall and it's very forgiving because it's a knit nightgown all right that is it for PJs so now let's talk about actual clothing items now I'm wearing one of them this is the cape Cod Capelet by Itch to Stitch Patterns. Um, and I talked about, I think I might even put my monogram on here. If you have an embroidery machine, that's a fun little a detail you could add. This thing went together in no time flat. I mean, 30 minutes maybe. It took me longer to take the pattern together than it did for me to actually cut it out and sew it. Um, but again, very forgiving, very chic. You can use, um, you don't even have to do, um, a solid like you could find knits that have like a little bit of a pattern on them or like I don't plaid might get a little iffy because it's got curved at the bottom hem like if that really bothers you <laughs> you're not gonna have like straight lines along the bottom of the hem that might like drive you crazy um, stripes as well but you could definitely do something patterned in fact a couple of the testers I think did knit for the front and the back and did a woven sleeve like a sheer sleeve which you could definitely do just as long as you can still have some stretch to get you know the neckline would probably need to be um, in stretchy so you could get it over your head but you could definitely play around with some woven on there a little bit um, anyway it is just a very chic topper I think you could make it in a whole bunch of different fabrics and it would look different um, in each one one. And again, you don't have to, you can just kind of a general idea on sizing because it'd be very, very forgiving. And they sew up in no time flat. All right. And this is probably the most involved make that I have on here, but Love Notions Patterns, oh, that Itch to Stitch pattern was affiliate link. And this one is also affiliate link. But this, um, she has three hoodie patterns that all go together. She has a woman's pattern called the Constellation Hoodie and Pullover, a men's pattern called the... North Star hoodie and pullover, and then a kid's pattern called the Navigator pullover, um, and it's also a hoodie. I have this, and I may or may not be making them for some of the members of my family. Again, it's somewhat forgiving, because if you just kind of a small, medium, large, you don't have to have an exact sizing on people, but again, you can make coordinating ones for the family. Um, I may or may not be making some for my family members. I don't have any need for the kids' sizes anymore. Both my kids are now in adult sizes. But <laughs> if you're wanting to make some for a few of the kids, um, some that maybe range from kid sizes up into adult sizes, they all coordinate. And you can do solids with some fun pops of color zipper. Uh, they are, this is a very easy pattern considering what you're making. Um, advanced beginner, definitely. And they don't, I mean, it, they sew up fairly quickly for what they are as well but it's a piece of outerwear, like how impressive is that? And there's some tutorials, now this kind of zips down like a half zip, but there's some tutorials also on her blog where she does um, hacks it into a quarter zip if that's more your jam. Um, and it makes a very professional looking men's quarter zip is what I have seen it in. You could definitely do it for women as well or the kids, um, but it definitely looks like store-bought um, men's quarter zip. So uh, definitely a much cheaper way to probably to make because those quarter zips and those half zips get so expensive you could do these in fleece you could do them in ponties you can do them in french terry sweatshirting whatever um again a little bit more knowledge of maybe what sizes they are but they're small medium large like you still have quite a bit of wiggle room in between sizes so there you have it those are my oh no that's not here you have it sorry i'm missing one also very easy with the fitting. Um, Tasuti patterns, and this is actually two patterns I was gonna kinda plug, but the Mandy Boat Tee pattern and the Monroe Turtleneck. 
Now, the Mandy Boat Tee used to be just one size fits most, but now it came out in four sizes. So you can get a little bit better fit, and I don't know about the Monroe. Yep, it has, yep, it also has, oh, it has, yeah, three sizes. So the Monroe also has three sizes, and I have a feeling they're probably the same body. It's just one is a boat neck neckline, and the other one is a turtleneck. I would have a feeling they're probably the same. Again, because it's just three different sizes, it would be very easy to pinpoint um, someone's size, like range. And I have actually made the Mandy Boat Tee for my mother-in-law and my mom um, before as gifts, and they're a fantastic gift to make for people. So yes, if you're just wanting a fun, um, you can use some sweater knits, you could use just some nice t-shirt knits that you have in your stash, whatever. It's a very wow, um, you can be using something kind of luxe. I mean, if you wanted to do like a merino wool or something, um, that would be a fantastic gift to give a loved one that would have a big wow factor. And they sew up incredibly quickly. I have made the Mandy Boat Tee. I have not made the Monroe turtleneck yet, but I'll be doing actually a video on that, comparing that with the Yoko turtleneck, which is also a free pattern um, from J. Lee Patterns. And that's the other thing. The Mandy Boat Neck Tee and the Monroe turtleneck are both free patterns. So you could really get a lot of bang for your buck by using those to make your loved ones um, some tops. Okay, I think that's it. So even though technically it's 11 patterns, we're gonna go with 10, because I kind of put the Mandy Boat Tee and the Monroe turtleneck kind of in the same, um, category. But there you have it. 10 quick and easy patterns that you can make for your loved ones this holiday season if you're really wanting to make some stuff for for your loved ones. All right, that's all I have for today, guys. Um, I've also had two cups of coffee, so I kind of feel like I'm flying through. I hope I wasn't speaking too fast. I apologize if I was. <laughs> I will try to be less caffeinated next time I film. Um, but on Sunday, we've got the beginning of Vogue 1643. Uh, I'm still not sure how many videos that's going to be broken up into yet, but it'll be a, a video each week until we have completed that, that jacket um, on Sundays for the Sew Along Sundays. So that's what you've got to look forward to on Sunday. And then um, I'm not sure yet what I'm doing on Tuesday, so <laughs> you'll be as surprised as I am. All right, that's all I've got for today. I'll see you on Sunday for the Sew Along Sunday and then again on Tuesday for another one of my regular videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You don't want to miss anything as we head into this holiday season. And give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <music>